Hello and good evening. Today we're having a revision. I mean, tonight actually, uh, we'll be having a revision on unit uh, 12. That's gender. Okay. And uh, this is for your upcoming quiz assignment, which is on Monday. And I want you to be really, really, really well prepared for it. So I'm creating these short videos for you to watch over the weekend when you have some free time and get better acquainted with the lesson so that you can absolutely score on the quiz assignment, okay? So today we're talking about gender and basically gender refers to, you all, all, uh, you all know male, you know female, and by the words that you speak every day, the nouns, you know exactly what's feminine or male, I mean female, or you know exactly what's masculine or male. Okay, by the words that you use. All right. So to better understand uh, gender, we have to go through a lot of examples. Okay. So you have four uh, uh, different ways in expressing the gender of a noun. Okay. You have the masculine gender, the male or the boy. You have the feminine gender or the female or the girl. Then you have common genders. When you listen to these words, you're not very, very sure whether it's male or female. For example, if I say cousin, my cousin's coming over, you won't know exactly whether it's a, a, a male cousin who's coming over or a female cousin who's coming over. If you use the word doctor, I'm going to the doctor, you don't know whether the doctor is a male doctor or a female doctor when somebody hears you talk about it. If I say my teacher gave me homework, nobody knows whether it's a male teacher or a female teacher. So these words or these nouns don't show whether it's a male or a female. They are called common genders. Okay. And then in the case of all uh, non-living things, okay, in English, uh, non-living things do not have a gender. Okay. They're called the neuter gender. Okay. But in different languages, like in Hindi, in French, uh, these non-living things are given a gender. Okay. For example, a book is a masculine gender in French. All right. A table is a feminine gender. A house is a feminine gender. A car is a feminine gender. Okay. So uh, today's lesson is all about gender and the different types of gender in English grammar okay so i have uh, the slides which i always use to explain to you about each unit okay this is unit 12 gender in your grammar workbooks okay so i'm going to go right into the presentation right now and by the way look at my background I love this room. It's so bright. It's huge. And uh, I, I absolutely love it. It looks so neat and clean and it's perfect. So here we are with gender. And we are going to start the lesson. All right. So like I told you, uh, in English grammar, all living things, okay, have a gender. They refer to as masculine or the male or the boy, or they refer to as feminine, female, or the girl. And in English grammar, we also have a common gender. Well, like I told you, when you hear the word, you don't know exactly whether it's a male or a female by the word or the noun's name alone, okay? And... Uh, the gender is unclear unless it is specified, okay? For example, if I say my teacher gave me a lot of homework, she must be thinking uh, we are all superhumans, okay? For example, by the word she, I have already told you what gender it is. But by the word teacher, you do not know whether it's a masculine or a, fe a feminine teacher. I mean, a male or a female teacher, okay? And as you know, like I told you in English, all non-living things are of a neuter gender. It's neither masculine, neither feminine, neither common, nothing, no gender. It is referred to as it, okay? Oh. All right. So as I'm going to repeat it again, because, you know, repetition makes you super prepared, okay? So we have four genders in English grammar, and they are the masculine, feminine, common, and the neuter gender. Okay, 
So now here, I love making slides for you, especially because you know on the internet you have so much of information, photographs, pictures, cartoon pictures. Mm, I go crazy when I create your slides, but I just want you to know that I really, really enjoy it. It's an absolute pleasure doing this, okay? So now let's talk about the masculine gender, okay? So masculine nouns are words for men, boys, and male animals. Remember, there are no male non-living things or female non-living things. Here you have a boy, you have a lion, and you have a full-grown man. Okay, so the word boy, immediately when you hear the word boy, you know I'm talking about the male gender. Okay, it's a male. Lion, you know it's a male. Man, you know it's a male. Now, feminine gender. Okay. Now, feminine obviously means female. You know it from the time you were growing up. You knew what's a male, what's a female. Okay, So feminine gender, the same examples I'm taking. Instead of a boy, I put a girl. Instead of a lion, I put a lioness. And instead of a man, I put a woman. Okay, So they're words for women, for girls, and for female animals. Okay, Now, common gender. These gender nouns are used for both males and females. You use these words, uh, uh, when you use them, nobody knows whether you're talking about a male or a female. It's a common gender. Okay, it's, It represents both the male and the female. For example, if I say doctor, here we have a female doctor and a male doctor. But when I say doctor, you don't know whether they are male or female. This is a common, common gender word okay then you have a female pilot you have a male pilot but you still use the word pilot the pilot uh, made a safe landing it could be a male pilot it could be a female pilot right unless i specify you will not know the pilot made a safe landing she is awesome you know it's a female pilot now neuter gender non-living things are neither male nor female in english grammar okay and they are said to be of the neuter gender. For example, a tap, a cup, a pen, a computer, non-living things, no gender. Okay? Now, how do we change the gender from a male to a female? Okay? Or from masculine to feminine? You have certain grammatical rules that you apply. Okay? Now, I'm going to give you some words where you add the word ESS to change the gender from a male to a female, okay? And in the case of female to male, you just remove the ESS and you get the male gender. Now you take the word shepherd, okay? The feminine of shepherd is shepherdess. Now, lion, lioness. See where what I did there? I just added ESS. Priest, a priest. Priestess, okay? So when you're talking, you say uh, the priest uh, said the sermon in church today. You know, I'm talking about a male, okay? In certain uh, cultures, you have a priestess, okay? So the priestess performed a big ceremony today. It's a feminine gender. You have just added ESS to priest and made it into feminine, okay? Shepherd, shepherdess, prince, princess okay god goddess okay poet this is uh, the poet rabindranath tagore and this is the poetess sarojini naidu okay so poet poet s poetess actor rithik roshan and this is the actress uh, deepika padukone okay actor Actress, but sometimes the spellings don't have to be exactly where you just add the uh, ESS. Okay, here it's actor O R, but you don't say actress, you just say actress R E S S. Okay, so be very careful uh, when the genders change, the, the spelling doesn't necessarily have to be exactly identical to the male where you just add the ESS. Okay, okay, some more steward. A steward is a person who works in a sh on a ship. Uh, on an aircraft, basically serving uh, refreshments, okay? So steward, stewardess, waiter, waitress. Now see, waiter, E-R. 
but you don't say waitress, you say waitress. Actor, actress, same spelling uh, difference is there. Count, countess. Duke, duchess, okay? Not duckess, all right? Duke and duchess and count and countess and prince and princess, king and queen, all these are royal titles given to royalty, all right? Then you have host, a person who uh, is the one who's responsible for throwing a party, for example, or a dinner. They're called the host. If it's a man, it's a host. If it's a, a female, it's a hostess. Even a person who hosts a TV program, the host is Mr. Somebody, hostess is somebody, Mr. Mrs. Somebody, okay, or Miss Somebody. Governor, governess, okay. Bachelor. Now, sometimes it doesn't always have to end with ESS. Sometimes you have completely different words for a nouns of the opposite gender. For example, bachelor, you say spinster. A bachelor is a person who's not married. A spinster is a, a, a woman or a, a, who is not married, okay? But you cannot use bachelor and spinster for children, all right? Okay, only for men and women who uh, have not got married. Then you have brother, sister, czar, another royal title in Russia. So, czar, Tsarina, Emperor, Empress, King, Queen, Heir, H is silent, remember that, Heir, Heiress. Now, Heir is a person who is next in line to become a king or a queen or a person who receives all the money after the death of the parent. He's the heir to this person's fortune. He's the heir to the throne of England, okay, for example. Then you have King, Queen, Heir, heiress, master, mistress, wizard, okay, Dumbledore was a wizard, okay, a witch, a witch is a female, uh, cast magic spells, a witch, all right, like you learned in Shakespeare, the three witches, okay, and you learned about, uh, what was her name, uh, the witch who had ca uh, the, the, the evil son, I forgot her name. Oops. Anyway, husband, wife, son, daughter, uncle, aunt, father, mother, nephew. Nephew is basically your mother's uh, brother's child, son, or your father's sister's or brother's child. Uh, um. That is, if... Mm, your nephew or your niece would be your um, your brother or sister's children. Okay, nephew is the male and the niece is the female. Okay, and then you have man and woman. Oh, I like the the witch and the wizard. I really like the witch. She does look so witch-like, doesn't she, with her broom? Okay, then you have some more landlord, landlady, widower a person whose wife is passed away, a widow whose husband has passed away, okay? A monk, a nun, lad, lass. This is, this is slightly old English. You don't use it uh, in regular speech. We don't talk about lad and lass, okay? In certain parts of the world, yes. Bridegroom, the person, the man who's going to get married is called a bridegroom. The, the woman who's going to get married is the bride. Gentleman, lady, manservant, maidservant. Grandfather, grandmother, grand uncle, grand aunt, grandson, granddaughter, madam, sir, author, authoress, hero, heroine, villain, a villainess. Okay. Tiger, now we go to animals. Okay. Tiger, tigress, fox, vixen, rooster, a hen, a drake, male. Duck, bull, cow, gander, goose, stallion, mare. Okay. This uh, gender, please go through the slides because your uh, the the quiz assignment that I'm going to give will be from your slides as well as your grammar workbook. So please, please, please go over both. <clears throat> Peacock, a peahen, a ram, an ewe. A buck, doe, okay, in deer, a cob and a pen in swan, 
a boar is a wild pig, a sow, a pig, female pig, panther, pantheris, a leopard, a leopardess, child. Now we are going to go to common gender. We finish up with masculine, feminine for humans as well as for animals, birds, etc. Now we are going to go to common gender. Okay, there are so many uh, nouns of the common gender. Okay, you have child. She has two children. Nobody knows whether it's masculine or feminine when you hear the word children or child. Okay, okay. Then you have baby. She has a new baby, but you don't know whether it's a boy or girl just by the word baby. Relative. I have my relatives coming into town. Or one of my relatives is visiting us this weekend. But when I say relative, it's a common gender because by the word relative, you don't know whether it's a male or a female who's coming to visit you. Parent. One of the child's parents are here. is here. It could be the father. It could be the mother. We don't know because the word parent doesn't show us. Okay, it's a common gender. Principal could be a man, it could be a woman. President of India, okay, could be a man, it could be a woman. A, pre a president of any country could be a man or a woman. The president is coming here tomorrow. Okay, the president of Algeria, for example, you don't know. Okay, so president is of uh, a noun of the common gender. Singer, could be a male, it could be Celine Dion, or it could be uh, Michael Jackson. You don't know. A dancer, it could be uh, Berishnikov, or it could be uh, a female ballet dancer. Like, who was a ballet dancer you learned about last year? I forgot. The one who uh, was one of the most famous dancers. It was a very inspiring story anyway. You know you studied it last year with some other teacher. Okay, student. I could be talking about you, but nobody knows who I'm talking about. Student is noun of the common gender. You don't know whether it's a male or a female student. Doctor, a pilot, a teacher, and children. Okay, none of the words give you a clue about whether it's male or female. Cousin, a chef. Could be a male chef or a female chef. You don't know. Engineer, okay. You don't know whether it's a male or a female patient, architect, model, photographer. In fact, all professions are nouns of the common gender. Okay. Now we have a gender pronouns. Now you know that if I talk about Rita, for example, I will use the noun to, uh, when she's the subject of the sentence. Rita is pretty. She is pretty. Okay. So we have. Uh, uh, pronouns of different genders, which represent different genders. Okay, feminine pronouns you'll use is she, her, hers, and herself. Okay, these are the pronouns which are feminine in nature and they are used for female or feminine nouns. Then feminine nouns are replaced by feminine gender pronouns. Harshini is a nice person. She loves movies. I like her very much. This house is hers. She bought it herself. Now, see, I have used all the female or the feminine gender pronouns to describe Harshini's life or describe her. All the pronouns above replace the feminine noun Harshini. Now, masculine gender pronouns. Okay. Masculine nouns are replaced by masculine gender pronouns. So now, you know, a pronoun is used to replace a noun, takes the place of a noun. Okay, so the masculine gender pronouns are he, him, himself, and his. Okay, masculine nouns are replaced by masculine gender pronouns. Pramod works in this building. He is a nice person. I like him very much. This office room is where he does his work. He does most of the work himself. So all the pronouns above replace the masculine noun promote okay so when are the genders never changed or not changed okay so remember that only the noun and pronoun genders of all living things are to be changed okay but you cannot change the nouns of the common gender now supposing i say ch change the following uh, uh nouns uh into the opposite gender you know supposing i say the teacher uh told the boy 
uh, to do his homework. So when you change it to the opposite gender, you will say the teacher told the girl to do her, her homework. Okay. We don't change teacher because it's a common gender. We don't know whether it's masculine or feminine. Common genders remain the same. Okay. The pronouns also don't change. Okay. The young boy is very smart. All right. He came first in his class. Now change into the opposite gender. So how would you change it? First, identify the nouns which are changed. You can change into the opposite gender. In this case, I have uh, made, uh, I mean, I have colored those uh, uh, nouns, uh, made them red, okay? They're written in red and you have to change them. For example, the young boy is very smart. The young girl is very smart. He came first in his class. So she came first in her class. So I have changed the gender for the nouns and the pronouns into the opposite gender. Okay. The king rewarded the old man with a large bag of gold. Only the king and the man can be changed. The gender can be changed. Everything else are either verbs or they are uh, uh, non-living things. Right. So the queen rewarded the old woman with a large bag of gold. The tiger attacked the wealthy landlord who managed to escape with his daughter. Now, there are so many uh, uh, nouns and pronouns whose genders can be changed. Now, look at this. The tiger attacked the wealthy landlord who managed to escape with his daughter. The tigress attacked the wealthy landlady who managed to escape with her son. See what I did there? I changed everything which was changeable into the opposite gender. Okay. My grandfather visited us and bought my sister a new t-shirt. It fit her beautifully. She thanked him before he left. Oh, lots to change here. So I'm going to just change here without looking down. Okay. My grandmother visited us and bought my brother a new t-shirt. It fit him beautifully. He thanked her before she left. Okay exactly and change it into the opposite gender. To be successful at changing into the opposite gender, remember to underline all the nouns and pronouns first and simply change into the opposite gender, noun or pronoun. Okay, it's that simple. And that is the end of this lesson. And that's all folks. Okay, now please go over this video uh, for over the weekend and so that you can be super prepared for your test on Monday. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going back to the meet. All right, so I had fun uh, going over this lesson with all of you and most importantly, I had fun with my new background. I learned something new today. I just found it by mistake. And uh, in the afternoon, and I said that when I create these videos today, I have to use these backgrounds. And right now, I can honestly say this is my favorite background. I just love it so much. The other ones with the, the, the beach background and everything were a little too much. But I'm going to try and make different backgrounds for each of my videos. Okay. So have a very good night. Please study for your exam. Do well. And these videos are going to be really useful because when you go to your next class, the sixth grade in another school, you can be absolutely perfect in your grammar and impress your new teachers. Okay. So I'm going to stop uh, my recording now. Wishing you a great night and happy studying. Mwah. Bye.